In this video, we're going to talk about how to edit the existing sample lines that we already created in the previous video. So in order to edit the sample lines that you currently have in your drawing, what you can go ahead and do is go to any of the sample lines that you have in the drawing, select one of them, and in the contextual ribbon bar, if you go up to group properties and select that option, what you're going to do is you're going to end up pulling up the sample line group properties window. Inside of here, it has the name of your sample line group. It also has a list of all of the sample lines that are included inside of this group. From here, you can modify any of the information that you want inside of these ranges. So your left and right offsets, the styles, your layers, and then you can also edit your group labels. So we had some group labels that we assigned that were the station equation for each sample line. You can go ahead and modify or add labels as you need from this option right here. Moving on to the sections tab, this is where we show the list of options for what's going to be displayed or sampled in our sample lines. So if we wanna add more information into our sample lines, you can do that here by selecting the sample more sources button. If you select sample more sources, you're gonna get a window where it's gonna have all of the options that are available to you and what's currently being sampled. You can remove things if you don't want them sampled anymore. You can add things if you want to sample them. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we are going to add our dev corridor so we're gonna go and select dev core. This is the corridor right here with the, with the square. This one with the point towards the top, that is the symbol for the tin surface. So this is our tin surface created off of our dev corridor. And you'll notice that when I hover over this, it says dev core, dev core surface two. We're gonna go ahead and add in our actual corridor to this sample line. So I'm gonna select dev core, I'm gonna click add. We now have, if I hit apply and okay, you'll see EG and DevCore are both in our sample sources. So moving on from there, we have our section views. We haven't created any section views, so they haven't been populated here, but if we did have section views, those section views would be in this list here, and then we would have all of the options for modifying those section views from this tab right here. Moving on to the materials list, later on we're gonna talk about doing quantity takeoffs between a corridor surface and a different surface so that we can get cut and fill volumes. From that, you would compute materials and you would be able to get that information under this tab here. So moving on from here, I'm going to go ahead and click OK and I'll see you in the next video.